Welcome back. Can you imagine a doctor being able to treat uterine fibroids or metastatic tumors without invasive surgery? Hospital of the future? Seems impossible now? Well, maybe not. Thanks to the folks at Insight Tech, a company created in 1999 with the goal of treating patients without cutting the body, the future is now. Lisa Davis, the host of Your Health Network, recently visited the company to see what they're all about, and she joins me now. Okay, I sent you out there to talk to the folks at Insight Tech because I thought that this was probably the most incredible thing I'd ever seen. What did you find out? Let me tell you, Carol, and everybody, it is unbelievable. How okay. come we haven't heard about Insight Tech, first of all? You know, that's, I was kind of surprised because they are the worldwide leader in what's called MR, Guided Focused Ultrasound. So I want you to imagine, okay, so you've got an MRI, the Magnetic Resonance Imaging, that sees inside the body. Okay, and then we've got the ultrasound. And so what happens is, let's say you have a uterine fibroid. Now, did you know that 25 to 50% of women ages 30 to 50 can have a uterine fibroid. And right. it could be painful and bleeding and the whole nine years. You might have to go into surgery like you were saying. You have to miss work. Who's gonna pick up the kids? Who's gonna cook? Who's gonna clean? What are you gonna do, right? They cut the body. They cut that, the correct? body and there's risk and there's infection and there's anesthesia. Now, what they do is I want you to imagine a magnifying glass. You know the mean kids when we were growing up and they would try to kill the bugs, okay? So that is what the highly focused ultrasound beam does. It goes into the body, you can see it, the doctor can see it with the MRI, boom, it pinpoints it, it heats it, destroys it, ablates it is the fancy word that they use that I learned. <laughs> so when you say ultrasound, this is sound technology yes. that they are focusing into the body. Yes, and you know what? You go back to work the next day, you can go salsa dancing, you can do everything except for drive. Fibroids, what other things can they use this technology? Well, what's so exciting is there's several things on the horizon. First of all, it's also FDA approved, so for fibroids for women, for bone metastases. Now, Carol, when someone has a bone metastase, the cancer is already spread. It's a palliative treatment, which means it's gonna help with pain relief. It's not right. gonna be curative. But what it can do, it can penetrate the bone and kills that tumor in the bone that's causing pain and then the person isn't having pain. So you go in there with pain, you do this treatment, you lie on the table, they put you in, they get the MRI, they get the boom beam of ultrasound, they zap it. And Let me then ask you a question, if you catch away. a bone metastasis early enough, perhaps you can even keep it from spreading. Oh, that's really interesting. I'm, I'm just wondering. I mean, I'm no, thinking out loud because this is such a new technology. I'm just in my brain. I'm going, there's so much, there's so many ways you can go with this. What about breast cancer tumors? Well, you know, that's what's interesting. That's sort of the next step. They're going to use this platform to sort of look ahead, and they're already looking at oncology with the bone metastases, but there's so much more they can do. But at this point, the FDA has approved the fibro uterine fibroids, the bone metastases, but they just completed a phase three clinical trial for essential tremor, which is really, really common, not just for people who have Parkinson's, but it's its own motor disorder. And they showed this video, people should go to Insitech, just Google and look up essential tremor. They show a guy who's trembling so much, his tremors are so severe, Carol, he can't even drink a cup of water. After the treatment, one treatment, the guy is like, drink, drink, handwriting is suddenly neat. It's, it's a game changer. It's going to change people's lives. What I don't get is that this has been around since 1999. I know they, they actually debuted in Israel. Yeah, it's an Israeli company. Right. And, and they and did they, the first procedure in 2004 it, for the fibroids. Are you, I mean, this is 2014. I know. I don't know why it's not on front page news everywhere. I, I Honestly, before you folks gave me this wonderful assignment, I hadn't even heard of it. And I've been in the health field for 25 years, you know? I mean, it, it should be talked about. That's why I'm so thrilled you guys asked me to look it up because this could change people's lives. I know two women who had hysterectomies. Six weeks recovery. That's six weeks off work. You know? And they might not have had to have the hysterectomy if they could have just ablated that tumor. Exactly. But I know, I know one of the things they can't do anything about is ovarian. Yes. Because the ovary moves. So it's not a stable tumor, and that is an issue with that. But with so many other tumors, this can be the wave of the future. Oh, it really can. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. And it's so hopeful, too, because, again, like I mentioned earlier, Carol, we're busy women. I mean, this is, and it, it's for men, too, obviously. But looking at the uterine fibroids, that's a lot of time. Six weeks off work, who's going to take, like, take care of the kids, do all the housework, and you're going to lose a lot of pay, too. 
Well, I'm so happy that you went and looked this up for me. I sent you because I knew you'd get right down to the nitty gritty <laughs> on this. Thank you, Lisa. I really appreciate oh, you Carol, doing was, the footwork on it. Oh, this. it was so much fun. I learned a lot. Thanks.